Hello YouTube. I have a first firing for you today. Uh, since that gas tube looked like it might be misaligned, I want to just do a few one-offs and see if it could possibly be have any uh, low pressure. All right. First shot. Didn't lock back. Hmm. Uh oh. Let's try that again. Second shot. Then lock back again. And again, it didn't lock back. Okay. Let's try some two offs. Lock back. Oh, definitely bad. So I was having some functioning problems. Uh, actually, it was cycling all right. It was picking up the cartridges from the magazine, but it wasn't locking back at the end. And I've come to the conclusion that the problem is the fact that I didn't lubricate the nickel boron bolt assembly before I tried to fire it. And it is quite stiff in battery. So, I think that's the problem. And I think the answer is going to be us to take apart the bolt carrier and lubricate the bolt. So we're just going to do that. Yupper depper. I think that's going to be fine. No rim wall on there. I'll just basically douse everything. And I think all will be well.
Ah, it's just like butter now. Okay, I think that's going to fix it. Let's see what she goes like now. Lovely. Very nice. I think that's going to fix the problem. There you have it, YouTube. Okay, let's try it again. Let's see if it works now. Lock back. Okay, let's get this out of here. All I gotta do is put it down. Try it again. Uh oh, didn't lock back. Hmm. Try it again. Time. Different mag. Been locked back again. There may be a misalignment of the gas port. I don't know. It seems to be cycling okay. I'm not going to mess with the gas port. But the original M16s came without weights in the buffer. All they had was a spring. They put the weights in there because they had a problem with automatic firing. This gun's never going to fire automatic. Let's try it without any weights in the buffer. Locks back. Locks back. Yeah. Locks back and cycles fine. There you have it, YouTube.